Hey everybody! Welcome back. Apologies for being a little bit over the top there with the welcome back, but I'm amazed that we're still alive and on the streak after uh, a little bit of a scare with Firemine last time. 6QTZ, JSVX. Um, not a bad start. I mean, we're Isaac, so you know what's going on. Actually, come to think of it, it's probably the worst start you can imagine. Maybe unless you had a... Uh, Curse of the Labyrinth, so that if you took red hard damage on this floor, you wouldn't get a deal with the devil, in all likelihood, anyway. Um, Curse of the Blind, no, not Curse of the Blind, sorry, Curse of the Lost, and the Cellar. Whoa, what the, I, let me explain what happened there. I thought that was the punching bag, for some reason, you know, I, maybe I thought I was playing an Eden run internally, or something like that. I thought that was the punching bag, so when the punching bag spit out a spider, I was like, yo buddy, fuck you. I thought we were friends. You stabbed me in the back? What are you, like a triple agent or something? Alright, well, not pleased with it, but here we are. I do think this is a good opportunity to use a bomb, even though there's obvious, uh, potentially negative repercussions in not being able to get a Tinted Rock, but we got enough money to be able to get a Tinted Rock, so, or to, to be able to buy a Spirit Heart, I should say, so, I'm okay with that. This room, uh, should be an expert at by now. We do it enough. You hear that, ladies? I do it enough. <laughs> Not too much. Just an adequate amount. Petrified poop is uh, actually a really good trinket to get in the early game. So I'm excited by this, even though this floor has, uh, it's only been poop. There has not been any poop. But one lucky uh, item room could completely turn this around. Not that we're in a dangerous position anyway. It starts to be dangerous if I completely brick it up and take like, you know, four hits and then we fight uh, the, the haunt, but hopefully that's not too likely to happen. Huge fan. Huge fan of these rooms. Give me some more big rooms with enemies that spawn enemies and other enemies that uh, fly and, and how about some enemies that are super mobile so they're like impossible to hit and uh, could you make a couple of them champions please and maybe make the room large and put some pots in my way so that I can't... Uh, can't hit them. Like, I'm just throwing out ideas for rooms that would be really conducive to making me uh, a happy person right now. That's that's definitely up there. Yeah, we should have been able to make the cross there, and we were. Slowly whittling it down. I mean, that's, um, we don't have, you know, your brimstone action or anything like that right now. Pretty much all you can do on these early big rooms is, you know, but I'm not, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? There's abstraction and then, like, module, modularize. We gotta mod, we gotta turn this room into modules. We gotta say, okay, we're gonna take out one of these, then one of these, then one of these, then one of these. Later on in the game, hopefully we'll pick up Brimstone or something and we can just go brrrr and completely destroy them. That was also an old-timey telephone ringing. Not any kind of Brimstone action. Try to hit this guy a little bit more, like, horizontally. Or, sorry, I should say vertically. Try to hit him a little bit more vertically because I didn't want him to hide behind the rocks. And it ended up working out somewhat. Demon Baby is completely acceptable. Nice little damage bonus. Uh, broken Auk. I'll admit, it has some usefulness. This room I actually like, but is a little intimidating sometimes. Um, like, do we use our bombs to try to access the the uh, stone chests? It can be a good idea. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on with that. Well, maybe that's a sign, or we'll take it as such anyway. Let's put a bomb down here. It's going to take us three bombs, I think, to even get to one stone chest, but... We'll give it a try. I tried on the stream, the last stream we did, to do it diagonally here uh, and, and get the stone chest that way. It just doesn't work. Or at least it doesn't work anymore. Uh, that's really good. So, we'll definitely pick this up. Do that. Get back out. Reroll it. Uh, yeah, that's fairly fucking solid, I'd say. I'm happy with my decision on this room. Oh, man. Okay. That worked out. <laughs> Death's touch and a cat piece. And we are fighting the haunt, but uh, everything else is just coming up uh, Millhouse for us completely here. That is an incredible turn of events. You would not have expected that in a million years. And also, that was a really good dodge. We don't need to get any closer to let, you know, Demon Baby do what Demon Baby do. If Demon Baby can do some extra damage, that's awesome. For the most part, I just don't want to take any stupid damage here. Which is why I'm getting right up in the dude's face, but he's going to be dead anyway. And Torn Photo is fantastic here. Alright, all things considered, that ended up being one hell of a first floor. Much better than I would have expected. Curse of the Blind on this floor is always a pain in the ass. But uh, we do have an arcade. And that's very useful if we get some extra red hearts dropping. Now we just need a spirit heart to guarantee ourselves that deal with the devil. That it's looking like we 
should have relatively guaranteed just by our damage right now, but we'll find out sooner rather than later. Probably our key is going to be used for the item room, but we could use it to get to the shop to buy a spirit heart if we're feeling bad about it. But I got to admit, well, there, that solves that problem. I got to admit that um, even if we end up fighting Fistula, we should probably be fine because we have piercing shots. Pyro, 99 bombs. A really good get, and uh, in particular, a really good get when you can't see what the hell's going on. There's a little bit of a delayed reaction there. You can't see what your items are, I should say. Trying to just blow up these because, you know, we have 99 bombs, so if we can get a quarter or a swallowed penny or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's go check out our shop. Our shop does contain a spirit heart. I'm going to be a wild dude and uh, blow up our donation machine a little bit just to pick up whatever's half price here. PhD. Well worth it. 48 hour energy. Fantastic! <laughs> well worth the one explosion on our uh, on our donation machine, I'll tell you that much. Now we do want to go back, obviously, to our arcade, see what our red hearts look like in the future. For now, this is uh, this is just incredible. Like we're in such a good position. We have two 48 hour energy pills if we could do anything with them. And we actually picked up another spirit heart there and some extra bombs. Bombs, a little bit less worthwhile than the spirit heart, but hey, I'll you know. Anybody who wants to join Lion's Legions right now for, for a victory on this run, you let me know. It does suck that we didn't get uh, maybe like a small rock there. Oh, so easy. Okay. Pin, this is not going to be good for you. He's like, holy shit, how'd you get all these items already? You got a, you got a good point, my friend. Speedball is fine, and we I think we'll just take all three. Book of Sin, we'll re-roll. First, we'll get the Paralysis. Amazing. Guppy's Collar, good. Guppy's Tail, we are the cat already. Reroll. Mom's knife. Ah, I'm sorry. I had, how am I supposed to know? I guess at this point we just head down to the next floor. Now, it's a scary situation. We have almost no HP. Our damage is going to be stupid. But we do have to be careful about our spirit hearts. It shouldn't last too long that we have to be careful about our spirit hearts. But for now, there is a little bit of tension on this run. Just in the fact that I could take some dumb damage and find myself in a very scary spot. But once you pick up like another spirit heart or two, this is pretty much a one run. And you you could not make me feel bad about this uh, after the run we had last time. Like, just such a goddamn clusterfuck. I'm so happy to be in a slightly better position. Well, slightly, a, a significantly better position this time, for sure. Alright, there we go. We got 99 poison bombs now. And yeah, there, sure, there's some trademark Northern Lion luck coming in here. There's always, whenever I have a run like that last one, there's always some people who are like, finally, Northern Line gets some average luck. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? A run where every third shot of mine ends up doing one full heart of damage to me is average luck? I think you gotta, you know, look at your runs with a more objective viewpoint, my friend. I think you're the one who's maybe letting yourself feel a little biased here. Let's see what we've got in our second, yeah, second secret room. I mean, I'm happy to have the keys. I'm not gonna be pissed off about that at all. We probably got our um, probably got our boss fight coming up pretty soon here. Oh, that's the regular secret room. Never mind. I was high as hell. Um, let's uh, see if we can pick up a magic mushroom. That's an item we have not gotten in a while. I mean, at this point, people are going to be like, oh, you're not happy with what you've got already. That's not the case. I'm just saying, you know, if we could get a little more, why not? Should try to use these poison bombs effectively if we get the chance. I totally forgot that we had the ability to fly. Oh, well. Maybe, uh, maybe 2,500 episodes in, I'll probably, uh, or I'll finally internalize when I have the ability to fly. I gotta admit, I do like the, uh, guilt-free mom's knife, where I didn't even have a choice in the matter. Experimental treatment, I don't think it's worth it. When we have a reroll and we can just pick up mom's wig instead. Look, this is definitely shaping up to be one of those runs that, you know, if I still titled episodes like, my most powerful run ever, it, it could be up there. At least that's the way it's looking right now. Rosary bead over petrified poop is probably a sound decision, and uh, black candle for no curses helps out a ton. Let's get a move on here. We're already at our boss fight. This is looking way too convenient of a second secret room to not be it. So, red hearts we can't use, but maybe we'll pick up some HP here, and in the future, we can take advantage of it. This is like your ideal lost run right here. Little Steven. Little disappointing as well, but whatever. Let's head down to the next floor. It's not like we're in a dangerous situation here. What's my ideal deal with the devil item on this floor? You have to ask? Nine lives. Nine lives would be huge for us. 
if we could swing it. Little Steven pushed that away, but I'm not going to be too mad considering we got 95 bombs to back us up. And we did pick up an extra spirit heart on there. I think this is con uh, it's safe to open. And remember last run I was like, hey, we're doing pretty good DPS against Mega Fatty. That's definitely true here as well. All right, so let's go. At this point, I'm not like, do you teehee? Maybe we could have an HP upgrade. Like, I'm, I'm not going to ask for modest stuff. Instead, uh, I'm going to ask for uh, ridiculous stuff. Infestation 2. Infestation 2 would be an awesome pickup for us to get right now. Um, nine lives, of course, to make it literally impossible that we die. Brimstone, so we're shooting out a bunch of knives. Would be hilarious. Why not? Proptosis. Polyphemus. I don't know why that sounded like I was singing the Flea Market Montgomery song. Has that aged me, referencing the Flea Market Montgomery song? It's like Dancing Baby. Flea Market Montgomery. We're talking about Flea Market. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. It's been a while. But I gotta admit, I'm a little proud of the impression. It's not too bad, I think. At this point, uh, I can't really be fucked to care about getting our 97th bomb, to be honest with you. Figures as soon as I give up Petrified Poop, I get a pretty nice haul that I thought was out of it, but obviously is not actually. And let's check out our shop again. Shop, uh... At this point, we're probably looking at maybe giving just money to our donation machine, because there's not really that much else that I can get out of this. And we could use Telepills to get out of Boss Rush, but it does kind of feel like a little bit of a cop-out, doesn't it? Considering we could also destroy Boss Rush super easily. Oh my lord, there's the Halo. And, uh, I guess probably a reroll no matter what here. Into ceremonial robes, which is totally fine by me. And this is now our second secret room. See if we can get something of value down here. Maybe a magic mush in this room? Tears up. It's not a magic mush, but it's still pretty okay. I can live with it. That's not a secret room somehow. I should not have opened that considering I'm looking for the item room right now. Um, but that's okay. We'll take this. Get a move on. I sort of want to play you, but at the same time, I also sort of want to explode you. It's a little bit of a compl- Like, it's my relationship with a lot of things in life. Is like, you know, you're probably valuable to me, but also you're a pretty good explosion target. That's a terrible thing to joke about. Misguided. And I apologize for it, but at the same time, I got, a, like, a phone call. I was watching my telephone, I got a phone call. Whenever I get a phone call, I'm like, oh, this is bad. Especially if they leave a voicemail. But lately, I've just been having, uh, like, some telemarketers call, and they'll leave a voicemail. And the voicemail will just, uh, it'll be, like, them hanging up. And I'm like, well, you're not really a good telemarketer. I'm never gonna pick up your call. I know they're a telemarketer because I've got the number saved in my phone from when I answered it earlier, those goddamn savages. But, um, they'll, like, call and they don't leave a voicemail, they just hang up, and I think they're doing it to annoy me. But I'm like, uh, you know, well, I'm never gonna buy your shit because I'm never gonna pick up the phone call and you don't leave a message. It's like a terrible pop-up ad. It's like a pop-up ad that's like, you know, oh, you don't want to look at me? Fine, I'll just go then. Pop-up ads still exist? It seems like Google Chrome's pop-up blogger is pretty good at sorting those out. I have not encountered a pop-up. I have not encountered a pop-up ad in a long time. I guess that doesn't mean they don't exist. Like, you ever... My, my computer is, like, fairly locked down in a good way. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Probably a good time to donate, even though we could get the battery. Let's just... This is a one-run, let's be honest. But you ever go back to, like, your parents' house? Maybe if you're away at college right now, or, you know, maybe you live with them still, and you, like, use your computer, then use your parents' computer? My parents' computer is just like, toolbars fucking everywhere, Internet Explorer is the browser. You know, they're, they're very nice people, but at the same time, I'm like, man, n please never do sensitive, like, private stuff on your computers, because there's probably so much spyware on those that, you know, the, the, they're spying on each other. But actually, I just looked at my phone a second ago, and it was not actually the telemarketer that called me, it was my friend who said, the Anaheim Ducks have us by the balls, and they fucking know it. I guess maybe there's some kind of uh, Vancouver Canucks Anaheim Ducks trade happening right now. Ducks trade, a woohoo. Nick Bonino, Lucas Spiza, duck trade, a woohoo. Ryan Kessler for us, please, with his ducks trade, a woohoo. Anyway, there's a joke that definitely uh, limits my mass appeal. 
Let's see what we got going on. Oh, and rubber cement. I mean, I'm gonna take it because I'm like, if we get brimstone, mom's knife, rubber cement, it should deflect or like reflect the bullets off the wall. I'm not sure if it actually will. It probably will not, but I hope it does. We on depths, yeah, necropolis one. I'm kind of like I'm not rushing through this run necessarily, but I am kind of like you know I I think I've earned the right to rush a little bit. Not that I am. But if I were, I think I've earned the right, given how scary that last run was. This is like, you know, your parents bartering with you and being like, okay, well, if you get like an A on your math test, then I'll buy you a subscription to Nintendo Power. Not like I'm speaking from personal experience or anything. Um, you know, we, we did the shitty part, and now we get a, a nice reward. A free mom's knife, you know, early death's touch, early guppy, like second floor guppy is just hilarious. Um... I'm opening like all these golden chests as well, just on the maybe a little bit misguided, but whatever. Um, we, we don't really need to pick up lard, and we may in fact be better off without it. Do you think you're better off alone? Do you think you're better off alone? Is Alice DJ popular in other parts of the world? Because they are not popular in Canada, but the Enduring Leg Legancy? The enduring legacy of um, Alice DJ is that song, Do You Think You're Better Off Alone? Which, if you don't recognize it from what I sang, I'm not saying I'm the best singer, but it was pretty evocative of the original. Um, later, there was this computer company called MDG that used to sell, or more accurately, lease computers for buck a day. They were called, like, you know, I'm knock, knock, knocking, I'm knock, knock, knocking, knocking on buck a day's door. And it was like, you know, you get a computer for a dollar a day. That's awesome, until you realize that in three years you've got like this shitty netbook, you've been paying a dollar a day for it, you paid $1,200 for a computer you could have gotten for like 500 at most, but anyway. I know some, we probably should just drop Suicide King, man, just be cool here. Uh, I know some people who have been, and it's not really a scam, it's just like, I mean it is, but it, it's like a legal scam. You always pay more for stuff when you pay by the day, usually, and it kind of like, it, it, I guess, exploits, like, a, a unique facet of human nature, which is like, a $300? That's ridiculous. A dollar a day forever? That's real cheap. Anyway, like, I can afford a dollar. I can't afford $300. I can afford a dollar a day, no problem. Anyway, uh, I'm not looking down on those people. I'm just saying that company existed, and, you know, maybe they're a little bit sleazy. I don't know. I never have done business with them, but I know a lot of people who have. Let's donate. Oh, we can't donate, so I think we're pretty much just out of here. I don't even have a key. Hopefully this gives me one, but it doesn't matter too, too much. It did give me one. Uh, let's try to get a reroll as well so we can get our deal with the devil here, but... Or on Boss Rush, maybe, preferably. Yeah, we'll take a quarter. Why not? They, uh... Li Alice DJ licensed their magnum opus. Do you think you're better off alone? Yeah, Balls of Steel's better. Um, to... Do you think you really want a clone? And then there's someone in the background, and this is, I'm not making this up, they'd shout, No way! As if it was like Smash TV. Do you think you really want a clone? I don't under, even understand the implications of, uh, I guess MDG is not a clone! Not a clone whatsoever. Obviously we want Judas' shadow here, and we may find a good opportunity to kill ourselves to use it. Um, Monster's Lung does not work here, unfortunately, so it's really like Stigmata, or, not, or Blood of the Martyr, or nothing, so I think we kind of try for, swing for the fences. Holy Mantle, absolutely. Shielded Tears could be fun as well, but uh, I think Holy Mantle is what we're we're gonna want here because it's ridiculous and also allows me to roll that uh, Judas the Shadow option. I think a little bit more reliably as well. So let's try to go as long as is humanly possible. Man, this guy has a ton of HP. Let's try to go as long as is humanly possible without using Holy Mantle, just so that we can get maximum bonus out of it here. Like our damage is so good. That's why it's amazing to me that uh, Carrie and Queen live for so long. People have said, hey, you know, for Carrie and Queen, you always do, um, Carrie and Queen, now we're sharing the same screen. Anyway. Or, um, you know, I'll do Mississippi Queen or something like that. People said do Killer Queen. Yo, never invite me to karaoke because my Killer Queen is... If possible, even worse than the average of my other uh, interpretations on that. So, like, you don't want me being your Freddie Mercury. I could maybe be your David Bowie. Because, um, you know, a lot of the 
Freddie Mercury, you have to actually be able to sing, and that's not saying David Bowie can't sing, but to do a good David Bowie at karaoke, you've really just got to get that, like, I'm an alligator, I'm a mama, that's more Ethel Merman, but you get the idea, right? Freddie Mercury, you can't just rely on uh, caricature to, to carry you. You gotta actually have some talent, which is not in my wheelhouse. Man, this was a really, really nice run. I am so happy to have had one that was like a lot, I was gonna say a little easier, but let's be realistic. This one's a lot easier than, uh, well, the vast majority of runs we've had on the streak for sure. And we're still only at 18 minutes here. I love that. I got so anxious about that text thinking it was like a telemarketer. Or every time I get a phone call, I'm like, that's it, my whole family's dead. But, uh, I don't know, does anyone have phone anxiety? I know phone anxiety is a real thing. It's surprisingly common, I think. Um, I would, I would rather, like, I've said this on camera before, but if you gave me, you're like, okay, you got two things to do today. Or you got, like, one thing to do today, and it's make a phone call. I would rather, like, work or study for 12 hours to make the phone call. And then people would be like, why didn't you make the phone call? But I'm busy. Busy doing some completely non-optional work instead of doing something that would take 30 seconds. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually, like, I like talking to people. I'm a little introverted, but I like talking to people. Like, it's occasionally, at least. Um, but the, something about the phone is, like, you know, I'm missing all those, like, social cues, like, body language and stuff like that. So I'm, like, whenever I'm talking to somebody, I'm, like, are you, like, are you jerking off right now? You rolling your eyes? Like, what's, what's going on? But I don't want to do, I, I hate doing Skype video chats as well, because it's, like, what if I want to jerk off or something while we're doing the call? Anyway, um, you know, why don't why don't we go? Let's get a little fucky here. Oh, we I can't even step on the spikes. I was like, I should step on the spikes and hurt myself. I'll tell you what, I will bomb the shit out of myself to respawn with Judas's shadow, which we did get, right? Let's um, quickly check. Yeah, I see Judas's shadow in there. Oh, we have fucking holy mantle, man. So it takes two bombs to do this every time, which is ridiculous. But it'll get the job done. We have a fire alarm. So, um... I think it may be like... Might have to evacuate the building. I don't know. It's pretty ridiculous how many times this has happened in recent memory. I'm gonna give it like a minute. We've had like a hundred fire alarms. Obviously, I'm not paying too much attention to what's going on in the game right now. Boom, boom, boom. Da, da, boom, boom, boom. All right, give me a moment. I'm going to go talk to my wife. I'm going to mute myself and then come back, and hopefully I'll abuse the power of editing here. All right, I have returned. Turns out our building's not burning down. How exciting. Uh, let's head down to the next floor. These fucking fire alarms, man. Well, I was recording EU4. You probably heard it in the background if you watched that series, which statistically, you probably don't. Um, I'm, I still mean to kill myself if possible. Could you just like shoot me many times? I, I can't be hurt. Here, take me out like a Franz Ferdinand song. Um. For real, it's it's actually getting to the point that it's just absurd. But anyway, they, they were like, <laughs> there, there was like that bong 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 of the fire alarm on Friday for E4. And then, I can't believe I still have invincibility here too. And then they came over the loudspeaker. We've got like intercoms mic'd up in our apartments, which we didn't know about until uh, the moment that they said, hey, it's not a real fire. We're just testing the alarms. But by the way, it might go on for like the next 90 minutes. And I was like... Well, I guess, like, fuck anybody who works from home. Okay, now let's use bombs to work this out for ourselves. I wanted to respawn as Dark Judas here is the thing. God, but more than anything, I hate editing, man. It's so fucking silly. Now, we should have... Yeah, good HP, and then Balls of Steel, and then this. Uh, yeah, Loki's Horn is kind of funny with this. All right, I gotta put myself back in a good headspace, because... Um, we got a huge damage bonus there, but obviously we're in a risky position with, when it comes to our um, 
survivability now, but pretty much anything should die, like, immediately, if not by flies and spiders, then of course by, um, uh, our actual knife, and let's just not forget the fact that we have Holy Mantle as well, so, you know, we can afford to get hit once without it causing any sort of concern here. Sweet little lawnmower man action there. And we'll get our first real test on this boss here. Let's see how this goes down. Conquest. What's up, buddy? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I've decided that I am for it. Uh, I can't. Unless we get spirit hearts here. I would love to. I really would. But at this point, I can't afford to put our, our life in the hands of Guppy's paw. Or sorry, Guppy's uh, hairball. And sorry, Guppy's collar. Uh, just so that we can... Have those brimstone knives shooting out in four directions. It could be funny, and I know there's going to be a small contingent of people. Excuse me? Not interested? Uh, I was just talking about pop-ups, and then, you know, my antivirus pops up, and it's like, Hey, you should restart your computer. No, I didn't get you to annoy me. I got you so I could have peace of mind. Anyway. What a what a shit show of an episode here. But also, it's uh, it's a quick one, that's for sure. Yeah, there's going to be a contingent of people who are like, you're being a pussy about it. What happened to the Northern Line I used to know? Who would totally lose on the womb and then have a subreddit uh, post about it the next day? I still play zany, man. I just, I've, I've become slightly more conservative in situations where it's extremely likely to lead to my death. But, you know, go back and watch that fire mine run. And then, well, that wasn't you being risky. That was just you being stupid. Well, that's a very, I'm, I'm having this argument with this person in my head right now, which is probably not healthy. But let's just move along. All right. It's like the first time I've ever seen Mom's Heart skip that phase without having uh, Krampus's head to do that much damage in the early game. That was just like, the knife is tearing her up. And we have Black Candle, so there's no curses that can actually affect me. So we're pretty much just, you know, on our way here. And like, with Holy Mantle and this amount of damage, I would really assume that it's pretty much impossible for us to, to take damage even. Like, I, I really do not see a situation in which we find ourselves in a tough spot. We're more likely to take damage against a room with like 12 spiders than we are on a room with um, like two monstros, which is hilarious. Oh man, I love having 84 bombs. Thank you. And we know that this is the right way, but we definitely have enough bombs to go back through it if we wanted to. What do I want from our chest? Well, I mean, some keys might be nice, apparently. Uh, in addition to that, an infestation too. I'm gonna go back for that. Oh, you said you wanted keys, then you didn't get them. Just give me a moment here, baby. We're going back. Don't worry about it. I got this two of spades. We also got a truck and convoy rocking through the night. We got a truck and convoy. Ain't it a beautiful side? Convoy. Ugh. Probably should have just saved my reroll, huh? That is not incorrect. Can't open those, at least not yet. Tinted rock, though. Tinted rock, though. That's very good. As if we were going to die anyway, but uh, still. Phase one, phase two, and phase zero. All right. See, that's the new thing. You count up, and then you go down to zero. That's how all the cool kids do it these days. At least that's what my nephew Jeremy has been telling me. Two of spades. Cricket's body, Midas touch is actually kind of hilarious. Uh, infestation, sure, whatever. And attack fly is okay. It's a it's a decent haul. You know, I like the tears up from Cricket's body, and it's nice to not have fire mind associated with it. And with holy mantle, I'm pretty sure that we can abuse the shit out of Midas touch. Not that we need the money, but the contact damage, especially considering we have the knife to go along with it, should be kind of ridiculous. Only if we want to go for it. But when there's only one enemy left, we might as well go for it. Pins. Oh, this is going to be good. Beautiful. There's, no, there's none left. Wow, this is going to be like the shortest chest we have had in a long, long time. Let's do it up. Well, I did lose Holy Mantle. But I didn't lose anything else. That is just... Apart from the fire alarm, that was a fun run. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Uh, but for now, I'll be back with the Needing Run next. Don't go anywhere. Well, you know, go somewhere. Maybe if you're watching this raid as it goes live. And uh, I'll see you then. 111, baby, palindromical.